What is the most impressive building you visited? It's the Petronas Twin Tower in Malaysia. Where is it located? It's located in the capital of Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. How tall is it? They were the tallest buildings in the world from 1998 to 2004. It reaches the height of 451.9 meters. Who was the architect? Cesar Pelli, an Argentine-American architect. Is it well known all over the world? Sure. Tourists can't miss it when visiting Malaysia. Do you have to purchase a ticket in order to visit the tower? Yes, I do. It's sold online. When did you see it? I saw it two years ago. Will you come back there again? Of course. I'm looking forward to seeing you again someday. What is the most impressive building you visited? It's the Petronas Twin Tower in Malaysia. Where is it located? It's located in the capital of Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. How tall is it? They were the tallest buildings in the world from 1998 to 2004. It reaches the height of 451.9 meters. Who was the architect? Cesar Pelli, an Argentine-American architect. Is it well known all over the world? Sure. Tourists can't miss it when visiting Malaysia. Do you have to purchase a ticket in order to visit the tower? Yes, I do. It's sold online. When did you see it? I saw it two years ago. Will you come back there again? Of course. I'm looking forward to seeing you again someday. Who is your favorite politician? She's Hillary Diane Rodham Clinton, an American politician. Where is she from? She comes from the USA. Does she appear on TV? Yes, quite often. She usually shows up on TV in news programs. What is appealing about her? She's a Democratic politician. Is she famous? Yes, she's well known all over the world. Does she have a great influence on people? Yes, I think so. She fights for human rights. She has a very controversial and influential speech that human rights are women's rights and women's rights are human rights. Do you want to be like her? Being a politician has never been my dream, actually. Why do you admire her? She's one of the few women who succeed in politics. What did she do that you can tell others? Oh, a lot of things. She cares for people's health. She also tackles the issues of adoption and family safety. Who is your favorite politician? She's Hillary Diane Rodham Clinton, an American politician. Where is she from? She comes from the USA. Does she appear on TV? Yes, quite often. She usually shows up on TV in news programs. What is appealing about her? She's a Democratic politician. Is she famous? Yes, she's well known all over the world. Does she have a great influence on people? Yes, I think so. She fights for human rights. She has a very controversial and influential speech that human rights are women's rights and women's rights are human rights. Do you want to be like her? Being a politician has never been my dream, actually. Why do you admire her? She's one of the few women who succeed in politics. What did she do that you can tell others? Oh, a lot of things. She cares for people's health. She also tackles the issues of adoption and family safety. What is your favorite TV program? Well, I watch a lot, but the one I like best is How It's Made. Is that an international TV program? Yes, it is. It's available in Canada, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Southeast Asia, and so on. What is the TV program about? Its name somehow describes the content, 
which is about the process of making things like lipsticks, balls, candy, toys, chocolate, and so on. How often do you watch that TV program? Almost every day after dinner. Who watches that program with you? My family watches it together. My younger brother can't wait to turn on the TV. What channel is it on? A very common one, Discovery Channel, which focuses on popular science, technology, and history. Why do you like that TV program? I love learning new things, especially about how everything is produced. I would love to run a business about handmade cosmetics. How does that TV program change you? I know more about the world around me. It also supports me in my career path to make my dream come true. Who is its target audience? It particularly aims at families and younger audiences. Would you recommend that TV program to your friends? Yes, of course. They would be crazy about the program, I bet. What is your favorite TV program? Well, I watch a lot, but the one I like best is How It's Made. Is that an international TV program? Yes, it is. It's available in Canada, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Southeast Asia, and so on. What is the TV program about? Its name somehow describes the content, which is about the process of making things like lipsticks, balls, candy, toys, chocolate, and so on. How often do you watch that TV program? Almost every day after dinner. Who watches that program with you? My family watches it together. My younger brother can't wait to turn on the TV. What channel is it on? A very common one, Discovery Channel, which focuses on popular science, technology, and history. Why do you like that TV program? I love learning new things, especially about how everything is produced. I would love to run a business about handmade cosmetics. How does that TV program change you? I know more about the world around me. It also supports me in my career path to make my dream come true. Who is its target audience? It particularly aims at families and younger audiences. Would you recommend that TV program to your friends? Yes, of course. They would be crazy about the program, I bet. What kind of electronic media is popular in your country? There are some popular kinds, radio, TV, and online news. What's your favorite kind? I like online news because I have to work with computers every day. It's easier for me to read online. Why do you like it? Due to its convenience, I love reading anyway. How often do you have access to that kind of electronic media? Every morning before I start working. What's interesting about it? Instead of watching TV or listening to radio passively, I'd rather read and think about the news. Is it convenient to access that kind of electronic media? Yes, with a computer, smartphone connected to the Internet, you can read electronic news anytime and anywhere. Does your family like that electronic media too? No. My dad likes radio, and my mom likes TV. How has mass media changed recently? They're more modern and user-friendly. What kind of electronic media is popular in your country? There are some popular kinds, radio, TV, and online news. What's your favorite kind? I like online news because I have to work with computers every day. It's easier for me to read online. Why do you like it? Due to its convenience, I love reading anyway. How often do you have access to that kind of electronic media? Every morning before I start working. What's interesting about it? Instead of watching TV or listening to radio passively, I'd rather read and think about the news. Is it convenient to access that kind of electronic media? Yes, with a computer, smartphone connected to the Internet, you can read electronic news anytime and anywhere. Does your family like that electronic media too? No. 
My dad likes radio, and my mom likes TV. How has mass media changed recently? They're more modern and user friendly. Is there any garden that you like? Yes, I love the strawberry garden in my neighborhood. Where is it? It's in the Highland area where I live. When did you first see it? I accidentally saw it when I had a picnic in the Highland. What were planted in the garden? Strawberries, of course. There are also some boxes of cucumbers next to the strawberry beds. Why do you like the garden? I love picking red strawberries. The garden brings me closer to nature as well. What is special about the garden? The strawberries there are organic. How do people do the gardening? Keeping the beds mulched is important since it helps reduce water needs. How often do you visit the garden? Just when I have leisure time, since I'm quite busy. Is there any relation between the green garden and your mood? Yes, at least for me, the green will help me chill out. Do you want to be a gardener? Honestly, no. I'm not used to manual work. Is there any garden that you like? Yes, I love the strawberry garden in my neighborhood. Where is it? It's in the Highland area where I live. When did you first see it? I accidentally saw it when I had a picnic in the Highland. What were planted in the garden? Strawberries, of course. There are also some boxes of cucumbers next to the strawberry beds. Why do you like the garden? I love picking red strawberries. The garden brings me closer to nature as well. What is special about the garden? The strawberries there are organic. How do people do the gardening? Keeping the beds mulched is important since it helps reduce water needs. How often do you visit the garden? Just when I have leisure time, since I'm quite busy. Is there any relation between the green garden and your mood? Yes, at least for me, the green will help me chill out. Do you want to be a gardener? Honestly, no. I'm not used to manual work. What is your favorite item of clothing? My favorite one is a maxi dress. I wear it when hanging out with my friends or attending parties. When did you buy it? My friend gave it to me as a birthday present when I turned to 21. Where did you buy it? I had no idea where my close friend bought it. What color is it? It's blue, my favorite color. Was it expensive? Yes, I guessed. Why do you like it? Well, I'm kind of short and plump, so it's hard to find a piece of clothing that fits me perfectly. But that one does. I also love the color and style. Do clothes help to build your personal brand? Yes, I agree with it to some extent. I still believe that personal brand can be built from the inside rather than the outside. However, what you wear also plays an important role in saying who you are. Have you seen anybody wearing unusual clothes? Yes, I have, but I don't think any fashion style is weird. I believe everybody has their own taste of fashion. How has your fashion style changed recently? I always wore formal shirt and trousers whenever hanging out years ago, but now I change into casuals like jeans and t-shirt. What is your favorite item of clothing? My favorite one is a maxi dress. I wear it when hanging out with my friends or attending parties. When did you buy it? My friend gave it to me as a birthday present when I turned to 21. Where did you buy it? I had no idea where my close friend bought it. What color is it? It's blue, my favorite color. Was it expensive? Yes, I guessed. Why do you like it? Well, I'm kind of short and plump, so it's hard to find a piece of clothing that fits me perfectly. But that one does. I also love the color and style. Do clothes help to build your personal brand? Yes, 
I agree with it to some extent. I still believe that personal brand can be built from the inside rather than the outside. However, what you wear also plays an important role in saying who you are. Have you seen anybody wearing unusual clothes? Yes, I have, but I don't think any fashion style is weird. I believe everybody has their own taste of fashion. How has your fashion style changed recently? I always wore formal shirt and trousers whenever hanging out years ago, but now I change into casuals like jeans and t shirt. What is your favorite advertisement? I'm quite impressed with the advertisement about Surf, a laundry detergent made by Unilever. Where did you see it? I accidentally saw it on TV two years ago. What happened in the advertisement? The ad told a story of a family in which the children all loved their stepmother due to the white shirt she prepared for them. Why do you like it? I just can't stop loving the story in the ad. It's such a sweet story. Was there any famous actor or actress in the advertisement? Not at all. The actors were not very well known, I think. Did it attract much attention? I have no idea, but I saw it in many public places. What do you like the most in the advertisement? Well, the vivid images and sound effects did attract me. Do you believe in advertisements? Not really. Ads always say good things and neglect to mention bad things about a product for obvious reasons. How have advertisements changed recently? They're more modern. Digital marketing has proved successful in many fields. What is your favorite advertisement? I'm quite impressed with the advertisement about Surf, a laundry detergent made by Unilever. Where did you see it? I accidentally saw it on TV two years ago. What happened in the advertisement? The ad told a story of a family in which the children all loved their stepmother due to the white shirt she prepared for them. Why do you like it? I just can't stop loving the story in the ad. It's such a sweet story. Was there any famous actor or actress in the advertisement? Not at all. The actors were not very well known, I think. Did it attract much attention? I have no idea, but I saw it in many public places. What do you like the most in the advertisement? Well, the vivid images and sound effects did attract me. Do you believe in advertisements? Not really. Ads always say good things and neglect to mention bad things about a product for obvious reasons. How have advertisements changed recently? They're more modern. Digital marketing has proved successful in many fields. What is the most impressive competition you've entered? I took part in an eloquence competition organized by my university last year. What was it about? The competition was to find out the best public speaker in the university. Were there many participants in the competition? Yes, there were around 500 participants totally. What prize did you get? Well, I didn't get a very high prize, but it didn't matter. I was still happy with the result. What could you learn from the competition? I learned the way to develop ideas for a speech besides some body language tips in public speaking. Did you have to prepare a lot for the competition? Yes, I did. I read various materials about eloquence, as well as rehearsed a lot. How did you know about the competition? The competition was informed in the school poster. Did you do your best then? Yes, I think so. After the competition, I know I have to try more. Is the competition useful in your opinion? Sure. It helps students learn soft skills as well as become more confident in life. What is the most impressive competition you've entered? I took part in an eloquence competition organized by my university last year. What was it about? The competition was to find out the best public speaker in the university. Were there many participants in the competition? 
Yes, there were around 500 participants totally. What prize did you get? Well, I didn't get a very high prize, but it didn't matter. I was still happy with the result. What could you learn from the competition? I learned the way to develop ideas for a speech besides some body language tips in public speaking. Did you have to prepare a lot for the competition? Yes, I did. I read various materials about eloquence, as well as rehearsed a lot. How did you know about the competition? The competition was informed in the school poster. Did you do your best then? Yes, I think so. After the competition, I know I have to try more. Is the competition useful in your opinion? Sure. It helps students learn soft skills as well as become more confident in life. Where is your hometown? My hometown is a coastal state of U.S. Is it the city or the countryside? I live in a suburb area. What's it known for? It's famous for tobaccos. What do people do there? Agriculture is the main industry in my hometown. Most of the people here plant and sell tobaccos. How is the atmosphere there? Well, it's quite peaceful. I enjoy the fresh air here. How are people there? They're friendly and hospitable. Would you like to live in your hometown or somewhere else? Yes, I would. I just wish I can live here forever. Is it easy to find a job there? Manual work is easy to find. I'm not sure about the white-collar jobs. Is it a good environment for young people? I don't think so. The pace of life here is quite slow. If they want to work in a dynamic environment, they'd better move to the city. Is traffic congestion a big problem in your hometown? Not at all. We couldn't be happier with the traffic system here. Where is your hometown? My hometown is a coastal state of U.S. Is it the city or the countryside? I live in a suburb area. What's it known for? It's famous for tobaccos. What do people do there? Agriculture is the main industry in my hometown. Most of the people here plant and sell tobaccos. How is the atmosphere there? Well, it's quite peaceful. I enjoy the fresh air here. How are people there? They're friendly and hospitable. Would you like to live in your hometown or somewhere else? Yes, I would. I just wish I can live here forever. Is it easy to find a job there? Manual work is easy to find. I'm not sure about the white-collar jobs. Is it a good environment for young people? I don't think so. The pace of life here is quite slow. If they want to work in a dynamic environment, they'd better move to the city. Is traffic congestion a big problem in your hometown? Not at all. We couldn't be happier with the traffic system here. Do you have your own computer? Yes, I owned a personal laptop when I was in university. How often do you use the computer? Almost every day. I can't work without a computer. Have you ever joined any computer class? Yes, years ago. I learned about Microsoft Word and Excel. What do you use the computer for? You know, I'm an accountant, so managing business records would be much easier for me using a computer. What are some advantages of using the computer? With a computer connected to the Internet, we can shop, pay bills, or do bank transactions online. Listening to music, watching movies are even more convenient. Do you use other high-tech devices besides computers? Yes. Apart from a computer, I also use a smartphone. Should children learn how to use the computer? Yes, I think so. Children should be given chances to approach the computer but under the control of their parents. Do you have your own computer? Yes, I owned a personal laptop when I was in university. How often do you use the computer? Almost every day. 
I can't work without a computer. Have you ever joined any computer class? Yes, years ago. I learned about Microsoft Word and Excel. What do you use the computer for? You know, I'm an accountant, so managing business records would be much easier for me using a computer. What are some advantages of using the computer? With a computer connected to the Internet, we can shop, pay bills, or do bank transactions online. Listening to music, watching movies are even more convenient. Do you use other high-tech devices besides computers? Yes. Apart from a computer, I also use a smartphone. Should children learn how to use the computer? Yes, I think so. Children should be given chances to approach the computer but under the control of their parents. What project did you work on? I made an English poster about our environment. Was that an indoor or outdoor project? The project was carried out mostly outdoor. Only the last phase was conducted indoor. Who was involved in the project? My teammates and an advisory teacher. What did you do? We had a field trip to the countryside where we studied insects and plants. Was it a successful project? Yes, we received compliments from our professor. Who was your advisory teacher? Our science teacher, Mr. John. We learned a lot from him. What did you learn after the project? I learned how to write contents and decorate posters. Did you like your partners? Yes, most of them were friendly and responsible, and I particularly liked Michael, the leader of my team. What did you get after the project? After the project, I know how to work in a team and cooperate well with my teammates. What project did you work on? I made an English poster about our environment. Was that an indoor or outdoor project? The project was carried out mostly outdoor. Only the last phase was conducted indoor. Who was involved in the project? My teammates and an advisory teacher. What did you do? We had a field trip to the countryside where we studied insects and plants. Was it a successful project? Yes, we received compliments from our professor. Who was your advisory teacher? Our science teacher, Mr. John. We learned a lot from him. What did you learn after the project? I learned how to write contents and decorate posters. Did you like your partners? Yes, most of them were friendly and responsible, and I particularly liked Michael, the leader of my team. What did you get after the project? After the project, I know how to work in a team and cooperate well with my teammates. What's your favorite coffee shop? My favorite one is The Coffee House, a local coffee shop in my neighborhood. Where is it? It's 500 meters far from my house. How often do you visit that coffee shop? Every weekend when I hang out with my friends. The coffee house is always our first choice. Who do you go with? I meet my friends there. They love the place too. What drinks does it serve? Many kinds. Coffee, chocolate, cocktail, smoothie, tea, juice of various tastes. My favorite one is hot chocolate. Are the waiters there friendly? Yes, they couldn't be nicer. Do you like the decorations of that coffee shop? Yes, I love it. I fancy the green space they put in each corner of the room. When was the last time you went there? I last went there last Monday. What is special about that coffee shop? The drinks are what make them different. People are just addicted to full-bodied coffee and chocolate there. How do you know about that coffee shop? My cousin recommended it to me, and I did give it a try. What's your favorite coffee shop? My favorite one is The Coffee House, a local coffee shop in my neighborhood. Where is it? It's 500 meters far from my house. How often do you visit that coffee shop? 
Every weekend when I hang out with my friends, the coffee house is always our first choice. Who do you go with? I meet my friends there. They love the place too. What drinks does it serve? Many kinds coffee, chocolate, cocktail, smoothie, tea, juice of various tastes. My favorite one is hot chocolate. Are the waiters there friendly? Yes, they couldn't be nicer. Do you like the decorations of that coffee shop? Yes, I love it. I fancy the green space they put in each corner of the room. When was the last time you went there? I last went there last Monday. What is special about that coffee shop? The drinks are what make them different. People are just addicted to full bodied coffee and chocolate there. How do you know about that coffee shop? My cousin recommended it to me, and I did give it a try. What is your desired job? Well, my dream changes in accordance to age. Up to now, I would like to be a great English teacher. Is that a demanding job? Yes, I think so, although people suppose that being a teacher is easy and boring. What challenge do you have when doing that job? I have some problems with classroom management. Maybe I have to improve that skill a lot in order to be a good teacher. Is it hard to make your dream come true? Every job needs time and effort, and teacher does as well. Apart from the academic knowledge I was taught in university, I have to learn many other soft skills. Why do you choose that job? I really admired my high school English teacher, and I want to be like her. What requirements and characteristics do you need to do that job? Let's see. You need to be patient, thoughtful, and sympathetic. Does the job have something to do with your major at university? Sure. I studied English linguistics and literature, majored in English teaching. The major does support me a lot in my career path. What does the society think about your job? I'm not quite sure, but I'm proud to be a teacher, an honor job. Do you make much money with that job? Not at all. Teacher is one of the lowest paying jobs in my country. Have you ever thought of leaving your job? I haven't thought of that before, but I believe in what I'm doing right now. What is your desired job? Well, my dream changes in accordance to age. Up to now, I would like to be a great English teacher. Is that a demanding job? Yes, I think so, although people suppose that being a teacher is easy and boring. What challenge do you have when doing that job? I have some problems with classroom management. Maybe I have to improve that skill a lot in order to be a good teacher. Is it hard to make your dream come true? Every job needs time and effort, and teacher does as well. Apart from the academic knowledge I was taught in university, I have to learn many other soft skills. Why do you choose that job? I really admired my high school English teacher, and I want to be like her. What requirements and characteristics do you need to do that job? Let's see. You need to be patient, thoughtful, and sympathetic. Does the job have something to do with your major at university? Sure. I studied English linguistics and literature, majored in English teaching. The major does support me a lot in my career path. What does the society think about your job? I'm not quite sure, but I'm proud to be a teacher, an honor job. Do you make much money with that job? Not at all. Teacher is one of the lowest paying jobs in my country. Have you ever thought of leaving your job? I haven't thought of that before, but I believe in what I'm doing right now. Which culture do you belong to? I was born and raised in America, where my culture was shaped. Is that a multicultural society? Yes, it is. My culture is a diverse mix of customs and traditions of various races and ethnicities. How long has your country been practicing those customs? Well, it has a long history, around 10,000 years ago. What custom do you like the most? I like practicing dining etiquette. That's what makes me American whenever I travel to other countries. What are traditional customs of men and women in your country? Cowboy hats and boots are American styles, 
But nowadays, jeans and t-shirt are more preferable. Are you comfortable with the traditions and customs of your culture? Of course, I was born with it. How do people greet each other? Well, it depends on the situation. In an informal communication, people just say hi. Have you ever felt drawn to another land? Yes, I'm interested in Indian culture. I wish I can get there someday to attend a typical Indian wedding. Which culture do you belong to? I was born and raised in America, where my culture was shaped. Is that a multicultural society? Yes, it is. My culture is a diverse mix of customs and traditions of various races and ethnicities. How long has your country been practicing those customs? Well, it has a long history, around 10,000 years ago. What custom do you like the most? I like practicing dining etiquette. That's what makes me American whenever I travel to other countries. What are traditional customs of men and women in your country? Cowboy hats and boots are American styles, but nowadays jeans and t-shirt are more preferable. Are you comfortable with the traditions and customs of your culture? Of course, I was born with it. How do people greet each other? Well, it depends on the situation. In an informal communication, people just say hi. Have you ever felt drawn to another land? Yes, I'm interested in Indian culture. I wish I can get there someday to attend a typical Indian wedding. Have you ever attended someone's wedding? Who was he or she? Yes, a lot. But the most memorable one is my best friends. Who went with you? I went with one of my classmates. Where was the wedding organized? It was held in a restaurant downtown. What did people do in the wedding? They enjoyed wedding feast, sang, and danced together after giving the couple best wishes of an everlasting happiness. What did the bride and groom wear? The bride wore a white wedding gown, while the groom wore a black suit and tie. What was the most interesting ritual in the wedding? Exchanging rings is the ritual I'm quite interested in. Are weddings a special event of one's life in your country? Yes, along with birthdays. Do people in your country get married early? Not really. The average age to get married for women is 27, and for men is 29. What is the ideal age to get married in your opinion? Well, 27 would be my ideal age. Women are most charming and mature at that age, I guess. How have weddings changed recently? The most noticeable change is the reduce of rituals in a wedding. There used to be more steps in weddings years ago than there are now. Have you ever attended someone's wedding? Who was he or she? Yes, a lot. But the most memorable one is my best friends. Who went with you? I went with one of my classmates. Where was the wedding organized? It was held in a restaurant downtown. What did people do in the wedding? They enjoyed wedding feast, sang, and danced together after giving the couple best wishes of an everlasting happiness. What did the bride and groom wear? The bride wore a white wedding gown, while the groom wore a black suit and tie. What was the most interesting ritual in the wedding? Exchanging rings is the ritual I'm quite interested in. Are weddings a special event of one's life in your country? Yes, along with birthdays. Do people in your country get married early? Not really. The average age to get married for women is 27, and for men is 29. What is the ideal age to get married in your opinion? Well, 27 would be my ideal age. Women are most charming and mature at that age, I guess. How have weddings changed recently? The most noticeable change is the reduce of rituals in a wedding. There used to be more steps in weddings years ago than there are now.
what's your favorite means of communication I prefer talking directly to people how do you keep in touch with your friends I'm so busy that I don't often hang out with friends so I usually get in touch with them using social networks or phone do you get in touch with your family by phone yes I do I live away from my family so phone would be an ideal means of communication do you usually write letters or emails I used to write letters when the internet hasn't been used widely now I prefer emails due to its convenience what are some advantages of using a mobile phone that's the easiest means of communication I think mobile phones are portable just dial the numbers and you can immediately get connected with anyone you want do you like handwriting letters yes I do I like to keep handwriting letters as keepsakes do you use social networks yes the youth can now hardly live without social networks do you need communication skills using social networks sure even in social networks how have social networks changed communication people prefer talking online rather than directly because of the illusion of social networks people tend to forget necessary skills to communicate with others in real life do you have good communication skills in your opinion maybe yes people are quite happy talking to me what's your favorite means of communication I prefer talking directly to people how do you keep in touch with your friends I'm so busy that I don't often hang out with friends so I usually get in touch with them using social networks or phone do you get in touch with your family by phone yes I do I live away from my family so phone would be an ideal means of communication do you usually write letters or emails I used to write letters when the internet hasn't been used widely now I prefer emails due to its convenience what are some advantages of using a mobile phone that's the easiest means of communication I think mobile phones are portable just dial the numbers and you can immediately get connected with anyone you want do you like handwriting letters yes I do I like to keep handwriting letters as keepsakes do you use social networks yes the youth can now hardly live without social networks do you need communication skills using social networks sure even in social networks how have social networks changed communication people prefer talking online rather than directly because of the illusion of social networks people tend to forget necessary skills to communicate with others in real life do you have good communication skills in your opinion maybe yes people are quite happy talking to me are you studying or working I left school three years ago I'm working now are you self-employed or working for a company I'm self-employed I used to work for a company two years ago are you running any business yes I'm running a small business what does your business sell I make and sell handmade cosmetics do you have any difficulty running that business yes I had some difficulties attracting customers at first but everything is getting better now is that an online or offline business I sell products online easier selling online than offline because I can take full advantage of my social network when did you start the business I started running my own business two years ago what are some advantages of running your own business I can take some days off whenever I feel tired and I can make much more money compared to working for a company are you studying or working I left school three years ago I'm working now are you self-employed or working for a company I'm self-employed I used to work for a company two years ago are you running any business yes I'm running a small business what does your business sell I make and sell handmade cosmetics do you have any difficulty running that business yes I had some difficulties attracting customers at first but everything is getting better now 
Is that an online or offline business? I sell products online. Easier selling online than offline because I can take full advantage of my social network. When did you start the business? I started running my own business two years ago. What are some advantages of running your own business? I can take some days off whenever I feel tired, and I can make much more money compared to working for a company. What is the most popular means of transport in your country? Most people in my country travel by car. How do you go to school or work? I prefer bus due to its convenience. I enjoy reading books while sitting on the bus. How often do you take buses? Every day. I went to school by bus two years ago, and the bus is still my best choice. Do people in your country like traveling by bus? Not really. They have their own cars. What are some benefits of traveling by bicycle? It's a good way of doing exercise. We can protect our environment as well. Do you prefer public transport or private transport? Public transport is much cheaper. Do you think buses should replace other means of transport? Sure. In the future, buses should be used widely by commuters. What does the government do to encourage people to use public transport? It's a good idea to make public transport as convenient as private transport. Besides, more campaigns should be launched to raise the awareness of protecting our environment. How has transportation changed recently? There are more cars in a household now than before, which partly leads to traffic jams in some cosmopolitan cities. What is the most popular means of transport in your country? Most people in my country travel by car. How do you go to school or work? I prefer bus due to its convenience. I enjoy reading books while sitting on the bus. How often do you take buses? Every day. I went to school by bus two years ago, and the bus is still my best choice. Do people in your country like traveling by bus? Not really. They have their own cars. What are some benefits of traveling by bicycle? It's a good way of doing exercise. We can protect our environment as well. Do you prefer public transport or private transport? Public transport is much cheaper. Do you think buses should replace other means of transport? Sure. In the future, buses should be used widely by commuters. What does the government do to encourage people to use public transport? It's a good idea to make public transport as convenient as private transport. Besides, more campaigns should be launched to raise the awareness of protecting our environment. How has transportation changed recently? There are more cars in a household now than before, which partly leads to traffic jams in some cosmopolitan cities.